So you got me. So I got you. Do you understand I now? Knew, I do, but see, I knew that you were a fire sign just right off the fucking get go. Normally, Leos aren't that like fucking bitchy with me, you know what I mean? And I'm sassy, thanks. Sassy, sassy, my apologies, <laughs> sister. I'm Loki Tier. I work at a Japanese restaurant as a server, and I'm also a rune reader, worker, and energy healer. What's an energy healer? I energy heal using the runes. I work distance a lot of the time. I have clients from all over the world, uh, South Africa, Asia, Europe. Have you ever done anything like this? So today it seems like we're going to be doing sun signs. Sun is the soul, the moon is the mind, and the ascendant or the rising is the perception of the personality. Guessing the sun sign right off the bat can be a little tricky just given that everybody has this unique cocktail going on within them. But, hey, I'm down to give it a go. All right, if you guys want to get loaded in. Hello, beautiful people. Oh, I'm super excited. I can feel a lot of vibrant personalities. <laughs> Forgot to bring this out. You're gonna actually put this over everyone. Right, well, gonna... I'm gonna make a damn fool of myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you currently in a relationship? Last one ended November. Did you break up with them or did they break up with you? Left me. And how did you react to that? How did you handle the situation emotionally? I bought a sword. <laughs> Edged weapons is my thing. So, you clearly have a sharp intellect. I'm gonna give you Libra. Alright, All right, let's bring out our next person. Hey there. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm well, thank you. What was your last relationship, if you're not currently in one? A long time ago. I was trying to rekindle something and uh, it didn't work out. Okay, so you like comfortability. Yeah. Yeah? You can say that. I love this. This is like a therapy session. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the work ultimately is. It's deep therapy. So I'm just going to give you Taurus. We're learning. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm picking up some fire from you. Do you get mad over just any little, little thing? It doesn't take a lot to get you riled up. It takes me a lot it to takes get some, angry. It's, wow. That's earthy as fuck. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go with Virgo. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been told that you have uh, two people living inside of you? And no, it's not a Gemini reference. There are more than one sign that have a split personality, so to speak. No, I wouldn't say so, no. Would you consider yourself psychic? No. Do you ever have prophetic dreams, oracular dreams? Deja vu quite a bit. Ah, aha, 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 Sagittarius, final answer. Thank you very much. Yeah, absolutely. Hmm, 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 hmm. There's certainly some air in there. Do you like to cook? I love cooking. You love to cook. And I love to eat. Mm, food makes the world go round. Brain fart. I'm gonna give you cancer. I mean, <laughs> that was a really, really <laughs> awful statement. I am not gonna give you cancer. I am not oh, that powerful. What y'all doing here? No cancer, no cancer, no cancer. Thank you. Okay, you are welcome. Get one of the crystals. <laughs> Hematite, hematite. Hello, Hi. how are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. What do you do for a living? I'm a film student right now. So, artsy, 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 Pisces. Okay. And I am getting a lot of Piscean energy from you. Mm, <laughs> mystical indeed. Ooh, okay. <laughs> wow, she's gonna be like an Aries or some shit. <laughs> Have you ever been called crazy? Just like of off the bat? Yeah, but I'm well, yes. I'm a trans girl, I've been called well, crazy. But I mean, like, <laughs> yeah, see, like, I'm non binary as well. But I mean, just like as a human being, the number one does word... it ever feel like there are a couple of screws loose sometimes? Yes. Yeah. yeah. The number one word Gemini. just to describe me is weird. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> Hello. Are you in a relationship? A couple of years. In a couple of years? Do you like to play submissive, but you're really holding the reins? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so true. Leo. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. I am not in a relationship. You are. <laughs> Damn, you are quick and witty and easy. I have a rotation. How many people do you juggle at once, if you don't mind me asking? Four or five. Fuck yeah. Ask me more questions. Ooh, you're an Aries. <laughs> I don't think I need to ask you any more questions. <laughs> Are you in a relationship? I am. Yeah, how long has that been? I don't keep track. You don't keep track. But he's, he's hot. He's hot. That's what's important. He's really it? hot. Are you more dominant in the relationship? Um, I think we're both equally distant. So Equally distant? I think we're both equally distant. Capricorn or Scorpio? Scorpio sounds sexier. 
I'm gonna give you Scorpio just because you liked it. Yeah, it's sexy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is sexy. I already know what I'm gonna give you. That's the one that came to my mind when I first saw you. Aquarius. So Aquarius. Right. Yeah. So Last but not you? least, hopefully. Last but not <laughs> least, absolutely not least. Capricorn, a little bit of a hidden freak. Let's go with that one for now. And I'm gonna start playing Switcher Rooney here. I'm gonna switch Sagittarius and Capricorn. All right, raise your hand if he got you right. Nobody! <laughs> Except I got, you see, I got the Pisces sister. Okay, so what is everybody? Everyone swap to your sign. Aquarius. Does this make more sense now? Mm, Seth Leo. Do you get it now? Oh, no. <laughs> I got him wrong. I assigned you Libra. But yeah, Aquarius makes sense because Aquarius is air that reads a little bit like water or has a water-like quality to it. Thank you, Aquarius. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, what do you think? Are you into this? Uh, overall, I think he got a little bit right about me other than what he guessed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Cancer and uh, you guessed me wrong. <laughs> what did I guess? It was uh, you Taurus. gave me a Taurus. Taurus. So you're a lover. I'm okay. the type of guy that every girl wants, but they only want for a little bit until mm. they go with somebody else. But all that means is that when the right person comes along who really recognizes how deep that nourishment of yours runs, mm -hmm. they'll stick around for a long time. Saggy, Saggy, Saggy. I'm your Saggy. Are you into this at all? I think it's fun, but mm -hmm. I'm not into astrology. The value that I've found in astrology is recognizing the relationship and how everything's kind of connected, right? Over my head. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you're fucking wrong. Yeah. yeah. Twice. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Love to look at your chart because I imagine you have a lot of different things going on. Hi, Aries. Yeah, you can see wrong. Obviously, yeah. I'm shit at guessing, so. <laughs> so are you super into astrology at all? I don't get too much into it. I don't mm. want it to like totally dictate my life. Yeah. I consider it. Not at all. Whether or not you're an Aries or a Scorpio or anything, all the signs on one level or another exist inside of you. All of them are just really fantastic ways of kind of parsing yourself out mythologically and kind of seeing that inner clockwork. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yay. Pisces sister, the one that I got yes. right. I mean, I don't even know if at this point I would even have any ground to say that I like <laughs> sensed it on any real level, but I mean like- We connected. We connected. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that I at least got you yeah. right. <laughs> Virgo, oh, yep. you are a Virgo. Gemini, though. But looking at, you're very Virgo. <laughs> you, you're a Virgo, yes. Capricorn, the hidden freak. I did guess you wrong. Do you resonate with your sign at all? Or are you not super into this whole thing? No, I'm into it. Mm -hmm. I think it's fun. Do you know your moon in your rising? No. Oh, you should look it up. I think you'd have fun with it if you're into the, the what do you even call astrology? The pseudoscience, I guess, for academic stringency. So you got me so wrong. I got you wrong. Do you understand I now? Knew, I do, but see, I got your fire element, right? I knew that you were a fire sign just right off the fucking get-go. Normally, Leos aren't that, like, fucking bitchy with me, you know what I mean? And I'm sassy, thanks. Sassy, sassy, my apologies, sister. All right, break it up, you two. <laughs> Gemini. You really fucked this up. I did really <laughs> fuck this up. Yeah. Geminis are not crazy, by the way. Um, um, yeah. uh, the word so, you're looking for is eccentric. Eccentric. Yeah, but I should have fucking known that you were Gemini. Hey. So you didn't ask me all the questions. You asked the relationship one. I've I been know. married for 10 years. Oh my God. Taurus, okay? See, but I had already given Taurus you away. Did. And so like, I this went like based off of surface characteristics instead of going a little bit deeper. Yeah. And I apologize. Apparently um, I'm the sexy side. I'm so <laughs> I'm a little offended. <laughs> what do you think of your sign? Are you into it at all? I'm totally a Scorpio. I know yeah. as much as that. Scorpio is interesting in that it's a water sign, but it reads like, like fire, and you know, there is that uh, venomous sting, right? Oh, yeah. That, uh, is <laughs> Don't cross me. <laughs> Did you learn anything today? I was very deceived by a lot of people's superficial personality traits and aesthetic. So I definitely learned a lot about probing people a little bit more when doing astrological surveys for sure. And I hope that everybody else had a good time too. <laughs> <laughs>